here we go again and just to show the issue I'm having with the Sony Alpha 73 okay so HDMI output I'm going to zoom in connect that no so zooming in so we can see that okay HDMI settings 1080i 24 video okay but the ninja 5 is detecting 1080i 59.94, not 24. And this is very strange. Now, if I go back to Sony and I select HDMI for 24 to 60, nothing changes in the Ninja 5. So the same thing going on as you can see here. Now going back to the Sony here, menu, HDMI, 1080p now, 1080p 60, okay? We can see that the Ninja 5 detects 1080p HD 60 or 59.94 okay now in the Sony I will change that to 24 BAM no changes in the Ninja 5 so uh, is there an issue with my a7 III or general issue with the Sony Alpha 7 III. Uh, no 20, 24 output frequency. Now the thing is, this is important for me because I am trying to use the HDMI output from my Sony through this guy. Black Magic Ultra Studio Mini Recorder to get it into my computer and this is not working even though this equipment is working fine because I can get the signal from my other MacBook Air and get this signal into my MacBook Pro with all resolutions and frequencies I want and it's working great but from the Sony here to there, impossible. The HDMI cable is working fine because it's working fine with my Ninja. So what's the problem here? I don't get it. Is there a problem with the Sony Alpha 7 III? Can someone replicate this issue or not? So I'm trying to figure out someone to help me figure out this. Thanks a lot. Just to show you a different setup and to guarantee that the Ninja 5 can detect the resolution and frequency right, I'm going to do this other video. So I have my MacBook Air connected to my Ninja 5 through this HDMI cable and I'm going to play with the frequency and resolution. So here we go. If I manage to do that correctly, we are going to see the Ninja 5 and the MacBook Air um, frequencies. Okay, so here we go 1080p 30 hertz, and here we have HD. 30. If I change that to 24, I see the Ninja 5 detects it, 24. And I can change all the frequencies here and Ninja 5 is detecting right. 
So HD 24, HD 25, HD 30, HD 50, okay, HD 60. And for each one of these individual cases, um, situations, the Ninja 5 detects the signal in the right way. So it seems to be working fine, the Ninja 5 and the HDMI signal. Just for curiosity, 1080i, the same thing, 1080i 60, working fine, 1080i 50, okay, working fine. So this just guarantee that the Ninja 5 can detect all the frequencies and the resolutions I'm trying to use in my Sony Alpha 7 III.